Cancer, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 12th to the 18th of September 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, Cancer, let's see what we've got for the week. Whoa, love that present energies line. Overall, nine of cups. There's love here for the taking. Always say, take it with both hands and run with it. But you can see that right in front of you. Maybe an existing relationship, maybe somebody brand new. It may be just emotional happiness that is there for the taking. Past energies, the hermit, the deceiver, eight of wands. Things weren't very clear in the past um, here with somebody, um, whether it was around love, around work, around home, that communication, there was deceiving energy there. You weren't getting the full story of situation at hand. Doing some deep soul searching, there was light at the end of the tunnel, but um, it just was not, everything was not out in the open, is what, what I'm trying to say in the past. Look at this for your present energies line. Ten of Cups, the Sun, Two of Cups. Core of your reading, brilliance, happiness, joy. There's love here. Maybe those warm, fuzzy feelings. Maybe an existing relationship. Maybe somebody brand new. We talked about love being there for the taking. Taking it with both hands and running with it. But you're content. You're happy. Things are looking pretty damn good. Future energies, you get Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, then you finish with the Three of Swords. Don't know where the hell this came into the picture. I feel it's coming back to this Deceiver energy. Somebody has broken your heart here. Again, it may be around love, around work, but it may also be around home. Okay, but there is success here. <coughs> and being able to move forward, keeping an open mind towards where you are moving forward to. Okay, and dealing with that heartbreak. Yes, it's happened, but outside interference, meddling, third party energy that just tries to bring everything down when things look pretty damn good. We will clarify everything, Cancer. But um, starting with the Nine of Cups overall for the week. You get the star, nine of pentacles, judgment. And likewise, I say that success is there for the taking. Take it with both hands and run with it. Keeping an open mind towards your dreams, your wishes, and your hopes. Um, you know, your wishes may be coming true. They may be right there in front of you, but they're not quite fully in hand at the moment. But they are that close. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. <coughs> I feel like I'm going to go into a coughing fit. I've done a lot of readings. I'm starting to lose my voice again. <laughs> Past energies, the hermits. You get strength, nine of wands, eight of pentacles. You have had to overcome a lot of hurdles and obstacles to get onto solid ground. It's taken a hell of a lot of strength to be able to overcome all of these obstacles. A lot of hard work, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication here to see that light at the end of the tunnel and to get on solid ground. Could have been dealing with Leo in the past. So the Deceiver Cancer, let's see what this is here for. King of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Hermit, we just clarified. And again, ending that painful cycle, there is that light at the end of the tunnel, but it comes with some very deep soul searching, contemplation, where to now, okay, with that negative energy that has been trying to hold you back from moving forward. That painful cycle, that chapter closes. You've got the star we talked about before, you know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. And it's all about now getting those plans underway. Eight of Wands. You get the Magician. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. 
being able to walk away from that emotional attachment okay that has been holding you back and i feel it's that deceiver energy that painful cycle you've been manifesting a way to release yourself from that kind of energy get control of your emotions and focus on where to from here we're going to pause so i can get my drink okay cancer it's just started to rain again too my friend's got a band gig tonight and it's outside it's supposed to be a covered area but i'm wondering if it's going to be cancelled right present energies line i love this cancer i'm a pisces i love romance and love and you have the ten of cups the sun and the two of cups Starting with the Ten of Cups, you get the Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Temperance, wow, stability, commitment, marriage proposal, moving in together, meeting somebody extremely brand new. You have got your focus here on someone, I'm going to say, and um, or something to bring in that stability and that commitment, but not forcing the issue, just going with the flow, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but um, things are looking pretty good here hopefully for all of you the sun in the core of your reading knight of cups nine of cups ten of cups holy moly can you have any more cups along this present energies line double dose of the nine of cups already here Okay, this emotional happiness, contentment, you're very happy with where things are at the moment. I'm not surprised, as I said, hopefully for all of you here. This confidence with this love offer here um, being made. The two of you working well together. Just in case you don't know, there's love here. Two of Cups. Maybe somebody brand new, as I said. Like a bolt out of the blue. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, double dose of the Two of Cups. Boom, Two of Cups. Boom, Two of Cups. <laughs> Along with Victory. <laughs> Six of Wands. Okay, and Eight of Wands. Honest, open communication. Keep that communication flowing. We talked about things in the past that went pear-shaped because you weren't getting the full story and that communication was not there present energies everything's happening make sure the communication is honest and out there everyone on the same page but there's love <laughs> so cancer future energies line judgment Three of Swords, which you actually get here to finish with as well. Somebody is not happy about this present energies line. Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, and they are doing their dandest to bring a halt to it. How dare they? First of all, as I said, I love love, I love romance. It's like, yeah, in your warm, fuzzy feelings, happy place. Don't let others come in and try and prevent that from going on. Feel like though you do actually stand up here, speak out and let your voice be heard. Look here, this is how it is. I'm doing it my way. I'm following my heart, following your heart, following your beliefs, following your gut instinct, what your deep down is telling you. That wheel of fortune is there as well. Bigger and better things, good luck, good fortune. It is pushing you forward here, keeping that moving at a steady pace but away from that three of swords heartbreak from that outside interference from that meddling wow and that's not as easy said as done because sometimes you know if it is around love which i feel it is for this reading you've got family that aren't happy with someone that you choose here so that's not as easy said as it is done and um or not as easy done or easier said than it is done is what i'm trying to say not the other way around but um that peer pressure is there along with this three of swords again holy moly cancer see the ten of pentacles 
Seven of Pentacles, Justice, the High Priestess. Claim that sweet justice, okay? Good karma, good result for the hard work that you have put in with that Seven of Pentacles. That success is there. Claim that justice, that High Priestess may have your guard up a bit because you're still dealing with this outside pressure as well but you're still very content sitting back and observant watching what's going on around you you're not shutting the world off completely but you are very aware of what's going on but you're not wanting to get involved in it all whoa we finish with this three of swords cancer Princess of Swords, Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Bring it on. Bring this next chapter on. Be done and dusted with that outside pressure, with that heartbreak there. You're ready for this next chapter. No matter what anybody throws at you to try and throw you off course here, you're digging deep. You're remaining focused. You've got this confidence and determination to see this through and stay on board. Getting control of the situation where you are pulled in different directions balance and alignment back into place even starting centrally within and then working out from there but keeping things balanced there are ups there are downs it is a roller coaster ride but you have got that determination to stay on board here maybe very key with everything that's gone on in this future energies line whole oh, cancer Let's see what the universe has to say. The moon, seven of cups, eight of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Pisces. As I said, I'm a Pisces. Hidden fears, don't be afraid of me, I usually say. Let that moon shine brightly. Let that moon show you other options that are available here. Rather than being dictated to, I'm going to say sorry, with this Hierophant energy, with this Three of Swords energy twice, down here outside interference and meddling look at your options work out what's right for you you are number one it does take a lot of focus a lot of hard work a lot of dedication but still be aware of what's going on around you you do have that high priestess don't close yourself off completely as I said down here but explore your options basically overall that love is there for the taking it's up to you whether you take it and run with it at this moment I'm going to say with that but your present energies line as well pretty bloody awesome and um, I feel like you are going with it and that Sun is in the core of your reading Wow cancer so let us see what Star Temple Oracle has to say to finish Yet number 31, the star mother loved. The universal mother loves and supports me totally. Absolutely. Love that. And I said, there's love all around here. If I can get to the page. Star words, cherished, nurtured purpose. The star mother has shown up because you may be feeling a little lost and alone at present. Asteropi wants you to know that you are a precious star child of the cosmos and that you are loved and supported always. As a star child, you have a dual assignment here on Earth, both a personal and a collective mission to accelerate the vibration of the planet. You may be called to a higher purpose that is ecological, philanthropic or unifying. The Universal Mother is here to guide, comfort and chaperone you as you embrace your divine purpose. Love that. Your divine purpose, not someone else's. I'm just going to finish with that. So, Cancer, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. See ya. Bye.